Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card on what are the messages from your spirit guides. We're going to do three piles or three things to choose from. Pile one is going to be the green butterfly clip that I have. So this is pile one. Pile two is going to be this wet and wild eyeshadow. Pile two. And then pile three is we're going to keep it simple. It's going to be this pen, the Sharpie pen pile three so these are the piles to choose from pile one's the i don't know why i said strawberry i'm hearing strawberry in my mind but i felt like i already said it but i i didn't i was saying it in my head sorry i channel you guys and i'm like hearing it and i think i've already said it and i haven't said anything <laughs> so this you guys are like going through a transformation and you're getting adjusted pile one but pile one is the i keep hearing strawberry pile one is a butterfly a pile two is the eyeshadow palette, Wet and Wild. And then pile three is the Sharpie pen. Okay, so choose a pile you're down to the most. So we're going to start with pile one. I'll move these to the side for now. So pile one, 111, trust your intuition. If you chose this, the, oh my God, I keep saying strawberry. I keep hearing strawberry. Maybe you guys like strawberries or that's significant for you. If you chose the butterfly, the green butterfly clip, this is your reading, pile one. So let's see, what are the messages from your guides? What do you need to know? I'm hearing that one song. She wore a raspberry beret, the kind you find at a second hand store. <laughs> That's from Prince, or the artist formerly known as Prince. So let's see. I don't know why that song is significant for you. I'm also getting, it's a symbol, symbolism that you need to um, cover your crown chakra because you're going through like third eye activations or you're going through a transformation. Message from spirit guides. Yeah. You also need tiger's eye for some of you guys. You could have a Leo placement, pal one. But even here, it's like she has like this thing on her head, like she's veiling herself. So if you get headaches, you're going through a crown sh chakra activation. 222, two, two, you need to balance yourself or find that balance within you. I'm also getting you have a hater, Pa One. The message from your spare guides is that they are showing you who your enemies are, but you need to not give energy to this person. This could be a Cancer or a Capricorn or a Leo because we had the Leo. So this could be your sign or their sign. But I feel like there is someone here who is very negative and they don't like you. They really just, I'm hearing they hate your guts. They're jealous of you, Pile One. Message from your guides, Pile One. This is a timeless reading. It could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placement. As I say that, these creepy little gnats just like flew in my car. What the fuck? So this person sends you negative energy or they're just very negative. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're dealing with. Or this is your sign with the sun. They see you're always happy and they get pissed off because they feel like they have like a shitty life. Or they feel that way. I don't think they do, but it's like... They compare themselves and there's like... They're jealous. I heard envy. They're envious of you, Pow One. Messages from your guides, Pow One, the butterfly clip for the collective. I heard you're sweet with the Six of Wands. You move forward, or you will be moving forward. You have a lot of self love and you are very gifted and you focus on the energy of love. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This person is upset because they've tried to send you a psychic attack. And they were not successful. This is something they did in the past. And they see that you still have love from others. Or that you have love of self. This person is angry. I'm also guessing. Um, okay. I heard I'm also guessing. So this person is guessing on what they can do to affect you. How to harm you. How to block your third eye. How to hurt your heart space. I'm also getting you let a third party situation lay to rest. I'm also getting this person try to attack the things that you love or they try to affect your love life or create drama in your love life, but they're realizing that it doesn't phase you and this person is upset about it. The King of Wands. Yeah, it's like you still have the energy of love or people are still attracted to you, 444. Your love life is still protected, Pile One, and this person is upset. You might have a Scorpio placement because the butterfly represents Scorpionic energy. I'll do this reading until it's five minutes and then we'll move on. Yeah, but this person is upset because they see you have a lot of money or they see that you have a lot of 
spiritual abundance and they try to cause like psychic attacks or they try to hold you back but they will not be successful that's the message from your guides because you are this hierophant energy and then i'm getting they're jealous because they know you have a lot of people and they want people to come towards them but then it's like it doesn't last or it doesn't work out or even if they do get that person to come towards them, they still don't feel emotionally fulfilled because they still see you happy doing your thing. This person is just jealous and envious of you. I'm hearing baby. Oh, baby, please. So it's like they see other people feeling this way about you and they get jealous because they wish that people would come to them in that sexual way. But it, they don't. And if they do, it doesn't work because their energy is low vibrational. So then when that person gets to know them, or if, even if they do hook up with them, it's like ill and they don't want anything to do. It doesn't work. Yeah, they get blocked. 555. Five, five. This person's going to get blocked from any type of drama that they've been trying to um, send to you and your divine counterpart. It's not going to work out. Like, it won't happen. That's what I have for you, Pow One. You are going through transformation with the butterfly. Um, yeah, I'm just, you have like really like nice, like sweet energy, Pow One, whoever this is. So, that's what I have for you. That's the message from your guides. Let me know if that resonates. We're going to get into pile number two. If you want personal reading, um, info is in the description below. If you want a spiritual bath cleanse, you can also email me for that. Those are $55, three-day um, spiritual cleanse. Um, so yeah, okay, pile two. You chose the wet and wild eyeshadow palette with all the glitter and the shiny. I heard the shiny stuff. I'm also hearing um, Beauty and the Beast. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. So you could be a gray witch, pile two. That's what I'm getting. You're different. I heard, yeah, I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> two chains. Da, da, da. I don't know what that is. I know the song, like part of it, but <laughs> two chains. I'm different. You guys are outcasts. Oh, sorry, spirit. The spirit wants me to keep the eyeshadow here so you guys can see it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So pile two, 7-Eleven. You've learned to forgive yourself. Angel number 711 is about forgiveness, but it's also about you establishing your individuality. Um, you have spies or people who are spying on you and your spiritual team is making you aware of it. They're also showing you if there's negative energies around you that you need to up your spiritual cleansing just because people know that you're gifted and they're literally like trying to send you significant um, psychic attacks. I also felt a hand on my head right now. So I feel like your angels and guides are shielding your crown chakra subconsciously without you realizing it and they're protecting you from someone who misses you i'm also getting um someone has regrets your spirit guides want you to know that either you have or you will forgive someone who hurt you very badly and created an imbalance in whatever this type of connection was this person your spirit guides want you to know that they are going through karma right now they're getting headaches they're in this energy of like sadness archangel michael protect my space if you are getting headaches pile two it is because this person can't stop thinking about you and you're feeling that energetic pull i heard cancer pisces scorpio with the cups and taurus Rho, capricorn with the pentacles what do your spirit guides want you to know pile two my wet and wild eyeshadow <laughs> okay so this is another message because the eyeshadow palette is about glitter i'm also getting all that glitters isn't gold so you could have been played for a fool um is what i'm getting by someone that you thought was going to be there and they just took advantage of you if you were in a relationship this person had regrets this person could have cheated on you i'm also getting yeah look at this the lovers of three of cups and justice someone had you like a friends with benefits type of thing um i'm also getting wet and wild this person sleeps around and now that they're doing this or they did that when they were with you they were stealing your light or they were using you for money one or the other but i feel like they miss your you know what <laughs> sexual energy because nobody else is doing it for them anymore this person is really stuck in their head this person could have a lot of anxiety or they could be bipolar they have some type of mental health issue. They can't focus because they're stressing so much that it's creating a chemical imbalance in their mind. That's what the message from your spirit guides. One more card for the collective, for those who chose the wet and wilds. 
glitter palette for eyeshadow style two spirit you had a past life with this person you may have been drawn to pal one and two you had a past life with this person with the six of cups this person is realizing they have memories of you they they're stuck in the past about you they're realizing that they did wrong they miss you they want you back i heard i want my baby back baby back <laughs> was this, that's the chili's commercial so i don't know if you guys have like the chili's restaurant where you live but i heard chill so this person like wants you back because you were a pretty chill person or they were like i'm hearing you were spicy because they like you they were very attracted to you but they didn't treat you right they didn't know how to treat you properly or how you deserve to be loved i'm also hearing that song if you should lose me oh yeah you lose a good thing yeah this person wants another chance with you but i'm also getting this person may want to get you pregnant they also let their influences from other friends affect them in a negative way I'm also seeing if they do give you another chance or you give them another chance, they're going to make it look like it's them giving you another chance. This person is uh, manipulative. They're going to make it look like it's your fault that you broke up with them, but you were the one that distanced yourself. So they're trying to make it look like you're the bad guy. This person could be narcissistic or manipulative. This is a karmic cycle, though, and they, they want to come back during Mercury retrograde for some of you. But just know if you do go back to this person who was negative or did not treat you right, they are going to repeat another cycle with you. They're listening to their friends or they're saying things about you to their friends that are not true to make themselves look good and to make you look bad. And you're, their friends don't even know you. And they're going to believe this person. But then the actions of how this person behaves is going to be obvious to their friends that this person is lying. I just saw a crow fly right in front of me. So um, you're using your intuition and you know that this person is trying to connect with you subconsciously. I'm, I'm hearing this person could drive a black or gray color car for some people, not all. Or this is your car. I'm also getting this person has a dark soul um, because they have a lot of karma and a lot of healing. And when they were around you, you brought them good luck. But now you disconnected and now they're facing their karma and they realize that you can't be with them anymore or they can't mooch off of your spiritual abundance because they were using your energy to manifest for themselves and that's not happening december could be significant for some of you guys i'm also hearing a return to sender you could have done a return to sender because this person was so angry at you that it was becoming negative energy towards you either they are a gray witch or you're a gray witch or they made your spiritual practice seem like it was negative and in reality it wasn't they were the ones who were negative yeah because you have a lot of beautiful abundance here and they're mad that you're doing better without them so that's what I have for you, Pile 2. You have a lot of beautiful angelic light. Even if you do connect with like the Grey Witch um, left-hand path, it's like you're not harming anybody. You're using your gifts for good. This person could be a Virgo or feels isolated, but I feel like you've gone within, you've transformed, and you're in this energy of love, and you do have beautiful protection spirits and guides that protect you. You have a strong spiritual army. So you could have done a return to sender. So I'm hearing that song from Elvis Presley, where it's like, I think, is it Elvis Presley? I don't know if it's Elvis Presley. I think so. It's like, I got a letter in the morning, something, something, and then what does it go? Return to sender, no such number, no such phone, or something like that. So this person is either blocked from you, or they're going to try to connect to you, but you are not going to want to speak to them. Uh, you're literally return to sender, like, no thank you. You're going to, like, block them, or um, if you do hear them out, you're still going to say no, or that's the advice that your guides want you to do, because this person will continue to be toxic. This person will run all over you is what I'm getting with the Chariot Cancer card. They will still, yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael is protecting you. If you've done cord cutting, awesome. If you haven't, you should because this person is um, low vibrational or even if you feel like they're not low vibrational, they are not the right person for you and they will bring you um, negative energy in your life and it, it'll just be a lot of drama, a lot of stress, a lot of tension. This person is not for you. This person will cause a delay in your life. So that's what I have for you, pal, too. I'm also getting they're very good with their words because I felt the need to speak very slowly. So they may try to talk slowly to try to make sure that you understand what they mean. But it's all a scheme. It's all a lie. This person's a fake, a phony. I'm hearing that song. Or it's not a song. They may like music because I keep saying song. Um, what's that movie? Is it Grease? I don't know what it is where she's like, you're a fake, you're a phony, and I wish I never laid eyes on you. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. If you went through that, I really do send you healing energy. I hope Archangel Raphael heals you and mends your heart because this person was very, like, 
They were very mean to you and you did not deserve this pile too. You deserve to have true love. You deserve to be treated like a king or queen because you are a beautiful soul. You are so like pure. You have so much genuine love and light to give. And this person literally just like took your heart and trampled all over it like it was nothing. And this person is a piece of shit for not valuing your worth because you deserve so much and your ancestors are pissed that this person took advantage of you i'm getting goosebumps and the sun is out so this person like your ancestors stepped in in divine intervention because they hurt you so much and you were literally like an earth angel because i'm hearing earth angel earth angel would you be mine my darling dear love you all the time i'm just a fool I fall in love with you. Do you see these goosebumps, you guys? Look at that. You guys could have been gypsies in a past life. I'm hearing that. Your spiritual team is going to bring you true love, pile two. Do not give up on love, is what I'm hearing, because my heart hurts as I'm doing this reading. So you guys need to heal your heart chakra. Do heart chakra healing meditations. If you need help with that, you can reach out to me. But... I do feel like you need to heal your heart. And with the sirens, Archangel Michael is protecting you guys from negative low vibrational people. So if stuff isn't working out between you and someone and you're trying so hard to make it work, but they're like, they keep disappointing you. They keep hurting you left and right. That's not your person. You guys let it go. Your spirit guides want you to release this person. Let the universe handle it. Let it be however the universe sees fit. Your guides talk to you through music because I keep hearing, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. So listen to music because your guides talk to you through music. You also have a guide who is an artist, a singer. Um, very articulate, very intellectual, very smart. This person could have a Gemini Libra Aquarius placement or Sagittarius philosophical. I'm also getting this person could have been a part of the 27 Club. And they are your guide. Even if you think like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, no way. Like, no one believes me and I knew it. Like, yeah, you're not crazy. <laughs> this is your guide. They have a beautiful smile or something about their face or their facial features. That was very like intimidating, but in like a, like a wow, like a, like a sexy way for some of you guys. But pile two, one of your spirit guides is a singer and they talk to you through music and they know that you're heartbroken because they were heartbroken um or they were also let down by something in their life and that's why they're around you because they can resonate or you resonate with them somehow some way and that's why they're part of your spiritual team they never left they haven't left I'm also gonna have an aunt or a grandmother you got a lot of people pile to that is on your side they're rooting for you they're cheering you on and they do not want you to give up on yourself keep loving yourself pile two do not feel sad do not be disappointed that someone hurt you it is not your fault pile two you are enough you are love and these people they just don't know how to heal and they took out their hurt on you and they did take advantage of you but now you know not to allow people like this in your life now you know to stand strong now you will heal with the light of the most high the holy spirit you guys are going to be okay I heard that song, Jar of Hearts. Um, what, how does it go? Uh, I forget the song, but it's like, Running around, leaving scars, You're gonna catch a cold. Something, Jar of Hearts. You guys know that song. Jar of Hearts. Let me know if you guys remember or know the name of that song. Um, I keep hearing, Run around, Running around, leaving scars. Or breaking hearts. I don't know. This person doesn't value love. Whoever this is pile to. And they're continuing to hurt other people. But karma is going to catch up to this person. And you need to release them. Or do another cord cutting. But I do see a white. A beautiful white candle. Or a pink candle for you pile to. So that you can heal yourself. You need to focus on healing in your heart space. Okay. So that's what I have for you pile to. I know it was a little bit longer than expected. But this is the message from your guides. And I want you to be patient with yourself. Take it one day at a time. Do not hurt yourself, pile two. Don't be sad. Ask your angels to love you because I see a beautiful angel hugging you. Your aura is pink because you are loved. Just like my nails, like you have a like a pinkish aura is what I'm being told to tell you. So 
the glitter if you like glitter like how i do or if you like eyeshadow if you're a woman man whatever if you wear eyeshadow um the the brightness or like the glitter will bring you happiness or if you connect with some type of a crystal that has like a shimmery element to it that will bring you peace of mind as well okay so i send you many blessings pile two i hope you heal as soon as possible because you guys are beautiful people and you deserve love so please like and subscribe we're gonna get into pile three Whew, that was heavy <laughs> oh my gosh okay i'm laughing because i'm trying to like shift the energy you guys <laughs> it's better to laugh than to cry so pile three if you chose the sharpie i heard rolling 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 i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> that might be your energy um you're just kind of going with the flow pile three you're having fun you're a free spirit someone is blocked i heard x marks a spot I heard tag you're it so somebody wants you someone's very playful you have a little bit of like trickster energy around you pal three but they want you to be happy i'm seeing somebody laugh like in a creepy way but they're not gonna hurt you this is spiritual energy your guides are good and bad pal three because you guys might work with darker energies i heard i'll heal your heart but i'll hurt his first so that could be a goisha spirit talking or it could be some other dark energy 2112 as above so below i'm hearing 21 savage for those of you guys who like music how two and three your guides speak to you through music so you need to listen to more music because i'm hearing 21 21 21 and that's what if you add them single digits that's three 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 so your angel guides are with you single digit that out that's a nine the nine is you as an individual uh, moving forward you may write or you like writing or drawing because the pen is about um, your intuition speaking I'm seeing a lot of X's, so you're crossing out people from your life or your guides are blocking people from you that they know are not for you because they see what goes on behind the scenes and this person is not for you. They will remove these people, friends, family, whatever this is. They block whoever isn't for you. You guys channel because I said all of that before pulling tarot. You may hear tapping around you or you may feel your guides around you, pal three. Messages for Pal Three who chose the Sharpie pen for the collective. I heard an energetic release because I just burped. You are very gifted, Pal Three. You're very gifted. You need to light a candle, preferably orange. I heard orange is the new black, so they want you. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I sound like I'm fucking crazy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm channeling one of your guys, and it's like a funky trickster Galatia type of spirit. I heard I am a Galatia spirit, you fool. Sorry. Okay, anyways, I sound like a lunatic. I apologize. I know. I'm like, I can't even. I don't even know. I am going to put the video out, but it's like... <laughs> I don't even want to play back and watch this video, but I'm going to just so I can laugh at myself because I sound like a fucking crazy person. But anyways, that could be your energy. You guys channel people and you connect with their energy and then you might act like them. You guys are shapeshifters, pile three. Um, you might have like the the fox or the wolf trickster spirit animal and because I'm hearing like the hyena laugh or that little doggy that used to laugh and they'd be like, <laughs> like something like <laughs> jackal there you go oh anubis okay hi hey okay yeah so anubis is your a guide one of some of you i heard one of you or a couple of you um <laughs> they want you to laugh they want you to be happy orange is a new black maybe you watch that show i've never seen it but what i'm getting or what i was trying to say before i started laughing like a psycho um used to you used to light a lot of black candles or you you are used to lighting black candles and your guides are saying you need to change the color to orange orange or yellow i'm hearing orange so orange orange is a new black pile three with the full moon changes and the new moon there's a cycle retrograde blah, 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 blah. you already know this you guys are smart you guys are heavily connected to your spiritual deities um some of you guys might be like illuminati or the all-seeing eye evil eye protection um also with like the two here of these wands it's like there's a portal that you have access to um your intuition you're getting messages and you're very connected pile three so work with the element of the sun or the sun god raw 
you guys could be energy healers light workers you're very gifted because there's light and then there's also darkness so you guys connect with both because before light there was darkness and there was a void and all that is is all that was and that is what will always be so there's a lot of cryptic messages from the glacial spirits that you guys connect with if this is for you or if you connect to some type of ancient deity of some sort um from like many 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 moons ago is what i'm hearing um before time like any ancient wisdom is given to you thoth or thoth is also an egyptian um god that has a lot of wisdom and insight and i feel like the emerald tablets could be significant for some of you guys but there's a lot of messages that need to be given to you um emerald is significant and garnet and turquoise a labradorite moonstone obsidian smoky quartz you work with a lot of crystals pile three but you need to write down the messages that you're receiving and work with the orange um i heard orange crystals so that could be carnelian or um work with orange candles because that's how your spiritual strength enhances is what i'm getting okay there's a secret message that's going to be revealed to you your third eye is going through a transformation there's a shift um if you've been having some difficulty with your vision it's because you're going through like a spiritual change there's nothing wrong with your eyes that's what i'm hearing you've been working too fucking hard i heard you work hard for your money you work hard for your money and it's gonna fucking pay off <laughs> your money is gonna improve all of that work that you're doing people someone is noticing your hard work you got somebody around you that's like holy shit pow three really works hard like damn they got two jobs and then they come over here to this other job they're always fucking working i'm hearing the rihanna song work 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 da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. yeah you got two jobs or two forms of income but it's clearing a path if you did the road opener with saying expedite san espirito there's a change and a shift happening now the white stack could be your spirit animal you're very grounded you're very focused um I'm also getting you have a secret admirer, pal three, or someone likes you, but they're not telling you because this person's very playful. They like to play games. They're cute is what I'm getting. Or they think you're cute. They like your body. I'm hearing that song. Um, oh, what's that song? Might as well face it. You're addicted to love. That's what I'm hearing. This person constantly, I heard eat sleeps and shits you they love you this person has a strong like connection to you they really like you pal three this could be a virgo or that's your sign i'm also gay <laughs> oh my god <gasps> this person <laughs> oh boy yeah they are very masculine for you okay magic sticks you know what i mean masculine sexual energy they do this to your pictures or when they think of you sorry kind of gross for some of you guys but you're hot pal three they like you um they're very much um that song might as well face it you're addicted to love this person could be i don't feel like they have an addiction but i mean they could for some of you but what i'm getting with that message primarily is that someone is addicted to you but they're hiding their feelings because they don't want you to know this because they feel that you can have anyone so they're like well i don't want to just like throw it out there because they probably got people hitting on them left and right but that's not true you don't you're kind of like a loner yeah you disconnect from people with the six of swords you keep your distance and this person doesn't know that this person thinks that you got a lot of people everywhere you have guys and girls because i heard lgbt community i may not have said that right um but um i apologize if i didn't but i feel like um you may have people from like the same sex or vice versa you have like a little bit of everything that that likes you they're attracted to you you're sweet I heard G L A N O R O U S. We're flying first class up in the sky. So, champagne living the life. This person sees you as someone very beautiful. They're very uh, sexually attracted to you, pal three. This person is like, whew, have you been with this person? They will come in like two seconds. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just saw a license plate that says pop. <laughs> like you're like, you pop their cherry. <laughs> oh, three guy, girl, whatever. Oh my God. 18 plus. If you're not 18, don't watch this. <laughs> You have a strong spiritual connection. When you think of this person, this person thinks of you and then they get horny and then they want you and then they miss you and then they don't want to show you that they like you because they are like thinking that maybe they shouldn't like you. There is something that holds this person back from wanting to be with you because they feel like they're not good enough for you or they feel like they're not ready for commitment, but they can't help but feel how they feel about you. Pile three. I don't know why this is turning into a love reading. Your guides are protecting you. I'm also getting um, you have a new addition to your altar. Your home is protected. You're going to be connecting to your higher self a lot more with the four of wands. You need to write down your dreams or any type of intuitive messages that you could be experiencing. I'm also getting your guides want you to dance by your altar. That is a form of an offering. Not like in a like like in a sexual way, but just like dance, like have fun. You need to move your body. I heard shake about it, don't stop. So it's like they want you to dance. It's an offering for your ancestors. I'm also getting, because I was a five of wands, but I put it back in because spirits say you don't need to tell them that. They already know. It helps fight against negative energies when you lift your spirits up and you're happier. When you move your body, you are creating a sense of alchemy to raise your vibrations. And it will transmute anything negative into something positive. And it blocks out anything that is not for your highest good. I'm also getting someone could have tried to get a tarot reading on you and they couldn't get the message. Um, someone who was talking negative about you. People are going to be gossiping about them now. I'm also getting someone could have an illness or they're going to lose friends because people are going to realize that this person is a liar. If someone is saying shit behind your back, it, this person is blocked. It's not going to work. Someone is seeing you for who you truly are. If someone was copying you, truth is being revealed. You are the beautiful one. You are the chosen one. Someone's realizing something about a false friend is what I'm getting with the eight of pentacles. They're like, wait a minute. Pile three does that. Why is this person copying them? This person's not a good friend. And they're going to see that you are the true divine feminine with the star here. You have love coming in or your spiritual team just loves you a lot. The devil was on the bottom. So there could have been like negative energies, but you're healing now with the temperance Sagittarius card. And then if you do have some type of hater monitoring spirits or anything negative that anyone or anything tried to send to you, 32, 23, um, that's five and five. So significant change. Those fives are 10, uh, change for the better to end something negative. And then the one and the zero is a new beginning for you to stand strong in your elements and have a new chapter of success. So then what is protecting you and is cutting out anything negative that doesn't serve your highest good for those of you who connect with her. I'm also getting you're going through a spiritual transformation and you're learning how to connect with your spiritual team. If there's anything negative, it will not be allowed in your space because if you do connect with Galatia spirits, they are protecting you and they're restoring the balance in your life with the Libra card. Justice, more sirens, your spiritual team protects you. There is an ending of something karmic. You're getting, you got the 10, are you guys seeing this? The 10 of swords is an ending, the wheel of fortune, an ending of a karmic cycle, and then the 10 of wands, burdens being released so that a path is being made clear for you. You need to leave an offering on your altar. If you have multiple energies, leave an offering on all of them because they want an offering. I'm being guided to like my black tourmaline. So wear black tourmaline. You may have seen crows or ravens recently because your guides have a message that's only available to you. Yeah, they have a message for you. It's not for me to give to you, and that's why the pen is significant. So do a meditation. Have your pen and paper, pen and notebook out. Leave the offering. Save your space. You're going to get an intuitive download because there's an energy at a distance that knows you're hurting or that's trying to send you negativity, and your spiritual team is shielding you. The Seal of Solomon, for some, for others of you, it's just your spiritual team protecting you. Your guides have a message for you. To learn to heal. But you need to pay attention, pal three. Some of you guys don't. Or some of you guys are too busy in the 3D. Some, not all. Yeah, it's like they've been trying to reach out, but it's like, hello, are you listening? So, <laughs> yeah. Don't get distracted because the possum or whatever the fuck that is. Like, you need to get grounded. And when you get grounded, then you have your money 
and your blessings and your you will have like you're gonna unlock something spiritually that is going to help you elevate and move forward and progress and the negative energies will not be able to stop you yeah that's all she wrote you do connect with goetia spirits because when i personally do readings with goetia spirits i ask them to show me the world card when there are no more messages and the space is closed out so the fact that i pulled this card for you pile three a lot of you not all but the majority of you or there's a good amount of you that watch this that do connect with Galatia spirits and the world is basically saying okay we've closed that space i do see the seal of solomon here there is significant Galatia spirits you may be working with too but there's like i heard four or five that may want to come through but you're going to work with one at a time this one is more stronger more powerful and they're saying you're ready to work with it but first you need to leave the offerings to the others and then start identifying who or what this glacia spirit is so you can then work with it next so that's what i have for you pile three i know pile one was not very long i apologize but i really wasn't getting anything else there it was more pile two and pile three that had a lot of messages and i think because pile one is like barely starting so it's not like it's not as advanced yeah you're still learning how to balance stuff out. Um, if anyone asks you for money, the answer is no. Because you need to focus on your financial stability. Unless it's like your child or you know some, someone that you know you can trust. But if it's a friend or someone that you know will just ask for money and never pay you back, the answer is no. You need to protect your energy. I'm also getting if someone tried to siphon your energy, um, claim it back, do a candle in a mirror, and ask that energy to be retrieved. Yeah, someone is trying to steal your energy. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They're trying to make you feel stuck, but Spirit is saying, don't give them energy. Don't even think about this person. They don't exist out of sight, out of mind. But with that candle to clear out the negativity, it will help you find stability. It will shift in your favor. Okay. So that's what I have for you. I'm also getting another message about a Ouija board. If you guys use that, do it responsibly. If you do it, do your research. Do not do it alone. If you're not doing it, don't do it. Personally, I wouldn't do it, but it's up to you. Um, but you do have, like, memories or nostalgia that will help heal your inner child somehow, some way, by thinking of the good things, not the bad. So that's what I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. The Black Hat Ceremony is $13 each to join May 5th for the full moon in Scorpio. So email me if you would like to participate. I do have spaces available. Thank you so much, and I send you blessings. Bye.